Oh, it's just doing a little um, open the box kind of uh, see what you get with the DC pumps. These new ones that are just on the market. Um, this is the 9000, uh, as I've shown in the previous video. Now, I just really quickly, after I'd unboxed it, put the camera on pause and ran over to some of the solar controller box and everything. So, this power pack here is just running on a quite a small uh, 120 watt panel and a single 80 amp battery under there. Um, there's two different solar setups in this one, a couple of different inverters, uh, just for different things. So, I'm running two independent ones. At the moment, you can hear the little air pumps going in the background that runs off one lot um, and I've got another slightly larger solar set up in the same box uh, so I'll just quickly show you I just plugged the uh, 24 volt power pack in uh, that's plugged into solar and it's running with all those other pumps as well so this is only uh, you know this is only going to be able to drag so much uh, for itself but to my surprise it did exactly what I wanted it to this DC pump, I'll just put you down for a minute while I plug her in. Plug the... Alright, so we've got the 24 volt filter transformer plugged in. You can probably hear that whining in the background. Controller light came on, which is really good. You can hear it. You can probably kind of see in there. There's the motor. So this is exactly what I was after. A slow start DC pump. That's just awesome. So this thing's going to do exactly what I wanted it to do. It'll be able to pump 9,000 litres if I want, or give me also the control of uh, more speed if I need it. Up to 100%, that'll be 9,000, coming down to like 7, coming down to like 6. Um, you know, perfect little pump. Absolutely stoked that it works on solar. Uh, that was the biggest test, was making sure that this could run the little 24 volt uh, out of quite a small solar setup that's already in use. So. Uh, surprisingly, um, it needs 70 watts on full. Uh, it's got no drama, um, even on my small solar setup. So I'll change this over to my larger solar cell, and uh, I've got two 180, uh, 160 watt amp hour batteries. It's actually two 80s in a row, and uh, I'll put that into a new controller that I bought the other day. I've got a brand new uh, controller I've got to install, which actually has. Uh, it, it, you give a preference to it, so DC first or AC first and this solar controller will let me go DC first which means if the batteries get flat from running this baby all day and all night the AC power will be my backup so the opposite of the UPS this baby's going to drain all the solar she wants when the batteries get down to about half it's going to turn off the solar and turn it on to my mains power so pretty stoked that this baby works over the moon a right, bit more of an update later on when I've actually plumbed her up